Why do I think the Jackal Ganturel is the best beginner swim bait? I'm gonna tell you guys why in today's video. Got it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh! Oh my gosh! It's a whale! 9-11. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Alex. I'm Oklahoma's worst angler. And I wanna preface this by saying I am not a swim baiter. I do not consider myself a swim baiter. I love swim baits, I love throwing swim baits, but I am not a uh, swim bait only fisherman. I love to fish conventional just as much as I love to throw big swim baits or even small swim baits. But I wanna talk about why I think the Jackal Gantrell is the best that's out there for beginner swim bait. Now, swim baiting is becoming more and more popular. I mean, social media, when it comes to fishing, is being flooded by different swim baits. You've got guys that didn't know anything, you know, except maybe a bandito bug from, you know, Guggen baits or crack and craw or anything like that. And now all of a sudden they're out there with UFOs and Roman maids and Piz swim baits and stuff that just swim baits that are very hard to achieve, you know, like uh, psycho gills. I mean, they're just, they're harder to get. They're extremely rare. And again, it's because it's becoming more and more popular. So you got guys out there that didn't know anything about it that all of a sudden have these extremely hard to get swim baits, which there's nothing wrong with that. What's great about it is it's introducing a lot of the new anglers to swim baits. And maybe that's why you're here. Or maybe you just want to hear what I have to say about the Jackal Gantrell. So I'm probably going to call it the Gantrell because that's just, that's how I pronounce it. But when I first got into swim baits, I didn't know much about them except what I've seen my buddies throwing. And they had, you know, specific swim bait gear, you know, the extra heavy rods, the swim bait rods, 300 size, 400 size reels. And it was way out of my wheelhouse. But I wanted to learn more and I wanted to get into them. So naturally my very first swim bait that i got that i considered was a big swim bait was a mega bass mag draft and i think that a lot of people kind of start off with a mag draft that's you know it's just kind of one of those things that whether it be a mag draft or a freestyle um it's just a very easy swim bait to get into however why i do not consider this to be the best beginner swim bait is the simple fact that you don't have much to do with this this is just a steady retrieve it sinks Floats up, you reel it. That's really about it. So, yeah, I mean, a couple different hook options on it, but it, I do not feel that this is the best beginner swim bait. There's a lot of different ones out there. But there's a reason that I think the Jackal Ganturel is. And this is one that I do consider an actual swim bait. I mean, me personally, I don't know what the definition of swim baits is, but to me, a swim bait is going to be something that you're going to have to have some kind of dedicated setup for heavier baits, whether it be an extra heavy rod or a swim bait rod, um, a 200 size up to a 400 size reel. That's, that's what I consider swim baits. A lure that is going to take and be necessary that you have the heavier gear for that. So the Jackal Ganturel is six and a quarter inches long. It is two ounces, two and a half ounces. I think it's two and a half ounces. It was about like two and a half ounces. Multi-jointed swim baits or swim bait. There are many different swim baits out there. I mean, you've got glide baits, single jointed glide baits. You've got massive top waters, um, different wake baits, different jointed swim baits, soft swim baits, you know, like the Defiant 210s, 247s, Rising Suns. The whole swim bait game, there is so much to it. It's very clicky as well. Very clicky. And there's guys that, you know, are just loyal to a fault to a certain brand. I'm not one of those guys. I like to fish lures that work and that work for me and that I like. So, the Jackal Ganturel. Okay, so the first time that I really got this and I got my hands on this was after I'd been throwing swim baits for a little while. And I think I never really got one just because I felt like there was a whole lot of hype around them and I didn't know any better. I'm glad that I got one. Now, I do not have the Gantrell Jr. or the Gigantrell, the, the much bigger size one. I got this one. This is the carp. So 
The reason I think this is one of the best swim baits for beginners is the fact that you can do quite a few, quite a few different things with this. And this is not just for the guys on the boats. These are guys, these are for the guys that are on the banks as well. So kind of like I was talking about with the mag draft, this thing just sinks. It sinks. So you're out there on the bank and say you hit, you know, a little bit of brush or a little bit of hang up. Most likely you're going to lose that. And I can say that from experience because there is a pond around here that has one of my mag drafts in a bush in the middle of the pond. What's nice about the Gantrell is it does float. Okay, it is, like I said, a multi-jointed swim bait, does float. Now you've got the line tie is a swivel line tie. So it can be kind of a, a pain unless you're just tying a Palomar on that. But the nice thing about, you know, the swivel line tie right there is it's going to help reduce line twist. You don't want a whole lot of line twist because as that line twists and twists and twists, it can become more susceptible to break offs. Okay. So nice thing about that, like I said, with the swivel line tie. You see right there on the chin, this is where you can kind of accessorize a little bit more. Same on the tail right there. So you can add a chin weight. So they add that chin or that tie on there to where you can add a chin weight. You can get it down a little bit deeper. You can bed fish with it and do what you want. I've never done it, never used it, probably never will. The line tie on the back or the eye that's on the back, not a line tie. Don't tie your line to the back. This doesn't, this won't swim correctly if you tie it backwards. But you can add a stinger hook back there, add a little spoon to it, add some more flash, whatever you want to do with it. Again, not me. This is straight out of the package. Been fished, rashed up a little bit. Comes with some very sticky feathered treble hooks on there. And then as you can tell, these hooks have got swivel hook hangers on there as well. Now the swivel hook hanger, this is nothing new to the swim bait game. Not by any means. But what this is meant to do, if you guys do not know, when a fish hooks up on this, you don't want this two and a half ounce lure to get bound up and that fish have that extra torque and that extra weight of the lure to leverage against their body and to pop that thing off and to lose the fish. So that's why you've got swivel hook hangers on the front and the back of the Gantrell. Now, like I said, this thing is two and a half ounces. So this is one that I would say you're going to want at least a 200 size reel and an extra heavy rod. Something that is rated for that two and a half ounces. And the reason that you want a rod rated for that is so when you're on that back cast, so that rod is loading up correctly and it will help cast that lure more effectively and not compromise the strength or the backbone or the blank of your rod later down the road. It's not like it's going to break it automatically, but the more and more that you use a lighter rated rod on a bigger bait, the more likely you're going to have issues with that rod later down the road. So again, this is one that you're going to want a 200 size reel. The 200 size reels, they're going to be a little bit bigger. They're going to have some beefier components to them. You can get away with a 150 size reel. I've thrown some swim baits on a hundred size reel on my Scorpion DC. Not recommended. Again, it's not recommended, not for, you know, like long time use, but 200 to a 300 size reel. The line that I use on this guy, whether it be 25, 20 pound fluoro, P-Line Tactical or CXX, a lot of guys like Big Game as well. Big Game, my buddy Steve, the OK Fisherman, swears by Big Game and I've seen it work. And the reason that he loves Big Game is it's inexpensive, it's a great line, it's super strong, and then the stretch. The stretch is great. So if you've got a more stout rod, you want a little more line. Not Well, you want a little more stretch in the line. Not more line, but you want a little more stretch in the line so that stout rod is not ripping those treble hooks out. Even though those are pretty big and sticky treble hooks, you don't want to rip those things out. So the action of the Gantrell. This has got a really, really good swim action to it. What's really nice is... When you stop it on a retrieve, it doesn't stop on a dime. It kind of kicks out, okay? Now, how does this thing, if it floats, how does it swim down? What makes this thing crank down? Because like say on like a Vitalian, the Vitalian's got a nose on there to where it's going to help push the water down and bring the Vitalian down and then float back up. However, the Gantrell, if you guys can see those fins right there, those fins, they're curved on the bottom, they're flat on top, and they're angled down. 
So when you are reeling that, those fins are going to help pull this down and give it that action right there. Get those swim bait or the joints moving. Pull it down, it floats back up. So the gantrail does float. That's why I say this thing is great for the guys on the bank. If you start feeling yourself bumping into cover, you can stop that retrieve and let that thing float up and then get right back to cranking it back down. Now they say, I think Tackle Warehouse says this swims to like three foot. In my experience, I've had this thing down five foot, almost six foot. I can get it down to like six, seven foot if I'm doing a long line, but it will dive a little bit deeper than three feet. So don't think that three feet is the deepest this will go. Long line it, burn it, it will dive deeper. It takes a little bit longer to come back up. But this thing has got a crazy action to it. This is one that you can burn and pause. You can twitch it, you can rip it. You can do a lot of different things with this. It's got a lot of different action. Now, I've got some footage of me fishing this for the first time me fishing this, taking this out, I think it was back in spring or early summer of this year. So I'm gonna roll you guys some of those clips. Heck yeah, that's a good freaking fish. Freaking gantrail eater. That's what I'm freaking talking about. How's that for a freaking gantrail eater? How's that for a swim bait eater, huh? Heck yeah, uh-huh. Almost three pounder. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Fish seem to like when I'm playing music. Boom. Boom! On the pause, baby. On the pause, baby. On the freaking pause, baby. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You gonna come up? Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay, maybe they don't care about music. Oh, I sewed your mouth shut. There we go. Huh. Another. Longer too. Pretty, pretty as can be. Thank you. Let's freaking go. Y'all, I can't make this up. I'm trying to FaceTime B squared bassin. I lose connection. While I'm FaceTiming him, and then this dude, woo! This little guy comes up and destroys it. That's not a swim tag. Oh, there we go. On the freaking pause, bro. On the freaking pause, bro. Woo! That's a good one, too. You got it? Woo! That's a good one, too. Oh, he just so good. Get up here, son. Get up here, son. <laughs> on the freaking pause man yes, dude. on the pause wasn't even wasn't doing anything he's not, bad. he's not bad no the other two i caught were like twice the size though heck yeah dude hey it happened though yeah it happened yes <laughs> <laughs> man Heck yeah. Oh, I mean, I know where they're at at least. <laughs> Watching some of those back, I I can't help but laugh at myself because, I mean, I had been throwing swim baits for a while, but there was just something that was so fun about this bait, and I just I absolutely loved it. That lake in particular had a lot of different grass patches in there, some really deep grass, and when I say deep grass, I mean like being in 10 foot of water, and that grass was reaching two to one foot below the surface. So this is one that I was really able to kind of rip. I could kind of slow roll it across the tops and then crank it down when I got past a pocket, you know, get into that, you know, deep pocket where there was no grass. On the pause though, that is when I was getting the most action, the most hits, 
is when I would be burning this and then pausing it and letting it float back up. And it's almost like every time I would kill it or start to engage it again, that's when I would trigger that reaction bite. So Jackal Gantrell, fantastic bait. I'm telling you, I do think that this is the absolute best beginner swim bait out there. And again, I'm talking swim baits as far as the whole swim bait community goes. Dedicated rod, dedicated reel. Price on this, not cheap, but it is very budget friendly when you consider other swim baits that are out there. These guys are 40 bucks. That is a hard bait that's gonna last you a long time, take a lot of damage. 40 bucks compared to, I don't know, like a mag draft I think is like 20 bucks or something like that. Don't, don't quote me on that. I don't remember for sure. But again, this is one that is going to last you a very long time. Is it going to get you as many bites as conventional tackle? Maybe not. But there is something so fun and so addictive about swim bait fishing that just makes you want to do more and more. And again, I think that's why it's becoming more and more popular as we go along. It's just a new style of fishing. It's kind of like how BFS is coming up. You know, like the more finesse style bait casting more finesse style lures. That's why you see a lot of companies coming out with, you know, micro lures now. It's just a different end of the spectrum. It's something new. It's something fun. So if you guys are looking to get into swim baits and want to know a great beginner swim bait, Jackal Gantrell. Again, this is the carp. They've got a lot of different colors in this. You can get them on Tackle Warehouse. You can get them on the Hookup Tackle. You can get them from Carolina Fishing Tackle. Um, lots of different places that you can get them from. But... That's it for me, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you guys next time we're on the water.